Hey everyone, Phil from Prismic here. And today we're going to be looking at how to get a simple blog up and running using Prismic and Nux.js, okay? Uh, why do we want to use Prismic? Well, it's a straightforward, easy to use CMS which connects developers and content creators and makes getting your content to your web application super easy. And the web application we've built today is in Nuxt.js. And why do we use Nuxt? Well, because Nuxt is a tool uh, developed to be used with Vue.js. Okay, Nuxt we want to use because a lot of people know that Google, uh, it deprioritizes websites built with JavaScript uh, that are re rendered on the client side that are very slow. And so by using Nux.js, you can build a server-side rendered app, which will be super fast and will develop, deliver all your content to your website users and will be prioritized by Google. Okay, and uh, we have created this project all ready for you to use. And the easiest way to get it up and running is to follow our sample blog uh, article that we have created which takes you through the different steps on how to get this up and running. Uh, so the first thing you want to do is open up your terminal and if you haven't already install npm and you should also install the Prismic CLI and you can see we have the simple commands that you need to get that installed and once you install those you can then run this command to install this Prismic project on your computer. So we'll just copy and paste that into the terminal. That will run, and then it'll take you through a few easy steps. You'll want to give your repository a name. So something simple in this case, Nuxblog2, and the same name for your local folder. And we'll just let that run a second. Okay, okay, so, this will just do a couple of things for you. It'll install um, NPM modules on your computer that you need to run this project. It will install all the project files. It will install the correct repository name that is on Prismic on your project. And uh, it will create a repo for you in Prismic. So that's all done. So now we can see, we can jump over to our Prismic dashboard, we'll refresh. And there we have our Nux blog. Okay, so we can click into this. We can see what this has done for us. The first thing we need to do is give it a main language, in this case, English. And we can go to the side menu, you'll see an icon that says custom types. And you can view the two different custom types that this has added for you. So one of them is a single type. This is what we're gonna look at first. This is for our home page. Single types in Prismic are for all pages that are unique, that aren't going to be replicated many times or used in different ways. So in this case, home page. And you can see we have a headline, a description, and an image. And now the custom type is not where you add content. The custom type is simply a structure, a content, uh, skeleton, we can say, of the different types of content that you want to use on your content page, so your content creators uh, will know exactly what go on what pages. So we'll go over to our content section and we'll create a new blog home document. This is where we add our actual content. And so I want to make a blog about Manchester United. They're my favorite team in the world, and that's what I'm gonna do it about. So I'm gonna call this Manchester United Bible. Uh, we'll give it a little subheading. Glory, glory. Man United. Okay, and we'll add an image. Simply click here. I have an image prepared. There we go. It's just going to load. Click now. Okay, we'll save that. And that's it. Just publish and all our content is created for that homepage. So we're going to jump back to our custom types and we're going to add a post. Now posts, in this case, in this custom type, is a repeatable field 
That means it's something that's going to be flexible, something that can be used in many different ways because every post you might use for your website might have different content and therefore be unique. So this custom type will allow you to make unique posts. So you can see we have a UID and what that's for is for your URL, your, your, your unique URL for each post. You have a title again, you can add the published date, and below you'll see a slice zone. A slice zone is where you'll add this flexible content. Okay, so we've created different blocks here, a text slice, a quote slice, and an image with caption. So what that means, if you build a blog, you can choose to put those blocks of content in whatever order you need to create the specific content that you want to create. So in the text zone, we have simply a text box. In the quote slice, we have a, a little rich text field that you'll see here on the build mode, just a bit of text for a quote, and then an image with a caption. And this is in the non-repeatable zone, you'll notice in the slices, the repeatable zones are used for um, slice blocks or content like galleries, things that will be many instances of. So we will jump back again to our content section. We're going to add a little content. I am going to do a blog post about George Best. Okay, he's the greatest Manchester United player of all time, and he's also Irish, so. We'll add a bit of text to start. So we'll use one instance of the text and jump over. I've got some content waiting to add. So I'll just paste that there. I'll add an instance of the quote. Got a quote ready. And then I'll add an image with a caption. So I've also got an image here. Mm. Add that in, give it a little caption. Mm. Okay, and then you can see I will now add another instance of a text slice. Okay, so now you can see where it becomes flexible. So I can have as many instances of the images, as many instances of the text that I want um, of the quotes. So each blog post, while structured similar, is completely unique. And I will save that. I will publish it. So that's everything done on the Prismic side. That's all our content added. So if you jump back to our blog article, you will see the last two commands that you will need to run in your terminal. It will be npm install and npm run dev. So back to your terminal, you will cd navigate into that folder, in this case, nuxblog2, and you will run those two commands. And what that will do now, npm will install all the necessary modules to run this project. And we just have to do a little fix for npm there. And then it will also uh, get your Nuxt uh, local server up and running. Okay, so that's ready. We can use command and click localhost 3000. And there you go. If you follow this correctly, then congratulations. You now have your first Prismic blog up and running using Nuxt.js. And you can see there's our logo, there's our title, and our post. So we can click into that post. We can see the title, the text we added, the logo, the image, and the second instantiation of the text. So imagine we wanted to do a little edit to that. Easy. You're going to click the little pencil icon in the bottom right of your post. It will then bring you to that post that you just created. And we're just going to change the title. We're going to say George Best is the best. Simple, save, publish, and then if we go back to our blog and our local host, we're gonna refresh, and there you see, the change has popped up on our screen. It's that easy, so 
That's it. That's all you need to do to get your blog up and running. Congratulations if you followed this through. What we're going to look at in the next video, we're going to deep, we're going to more deeply explore the code of this project. We're going to look at how uh, Prismic slices work very well with Nux components and how these compartmentalized, easily maintainable uh, blocks of code and content are very much similar in their approach. Okay, so thanks for watching.